the system seems to the system seems to reward troublemakers and the punish the people or, or good people in other words and this is a good example the, most of the Venezuelan migrants as I said are placed in five star hotels and the other thing ladies and gentlemen the Venezuelan migrants are the ones who are eligible to for what is known as TPS or temporary protective status most of these African migrants are not eligible for TPS. So, ladies and gents, um, so what is TPS? Ladies and gents, TPS stands for Temporary Protected Status. Um, it's given to people from countries who might be facing some type of civil unrest, ladies and gents. So, basically, what they will do, right? The U.S. would have them come here, and then they would give them a work permit or so until the situation in their country has come back to normal, in other words. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Education Channel the only channel that addresses real immigrant issues coming to you with another informative video but ladies and gents the video today is about the fact ladies and gents that the curfew here in New York has been extended to 21 or more shelters because of an uptick in crimes by predominantly Venezuelan migrants. And ladies and gents, as a matter of fact, ladies and gents, one of the Venezuelan migrants that was involved in the assault on the NYPD officers was released on bail and the uh, for some reason, ladies and gents, he was arrested again yesterday, not yesterday, Tuesday, at a Queen's Maisie store for assaulting for assaulting a Maisie's employee in what seems to be a failed shoplifting attempt, ladies and gents. So, ladies and gents, and I'm going to say, as always, these guys come to the U.S. under the pretense or guise of filing for asylum and uh, they have no regards for the law in this country or have no remorse for the crimes that they've committed because as i said look at one of the guys that assaulted the nypd not even a week after he's involved in another shoplifting attempt at a major store in, store in queens and he has also been charged for assaulting an employee at that location, ladies and gents. So yes, ladies and gents, that's 4006. Third Avenue and the one same foot, ladies and gents. This facility during COVID was used as a testing center. It was also used as a 
post office and also as a catering center so at this point in time it's been used as a migrant it's it's used more like a migrant satellite center and the reason ladies and gents is that these this specific facility ladies and gents is not equipped with bed this is basically nurse showers this is basically a place that these guys come to wait or like they just sit around and wait for the morning to come for them to go to the reticketing center in the East Village at St. Bridges School where they